I craft a galactic teleporter in today's episode of Crazy Crab. And it takes me to a giant spaceship, which after some exploring, I learn how to fly myself. And I go to the home of the Sith, where I plan to take the test to become a Sith Lord. Do I become one? Find out in today's episode. What up guys, it's Cannibal Craft! Back with another episode of Crazy Craft 4. What up guys? As you guys know, the last two episodes have been pretty much kind of just having fun. I made a racetrack in the last episode and then the episode before that, it was a giant airport. But now, we're actually going to make some progress finally. But first, before we make progress, we need to introduce the sub of the day. And as you can't tell, there's a giant Nyan cat behind my my hangers. Ah, no flying. Let us see who actually has suggested this. It is hyperscale underscore. And guys, this is not me. This is actually a person, one of my fans in the chat. Huge shout out to hyperscale underscore. It was a pretty good idea. Uh, you wanted it to be above my base up there, but that base is getting kind of crowded. So, uh, but now these are considered the nyan cat hangers. So <laughs> hope you enjoy being immortalized on a nyan cat. There you go. So now progress. What the heck? That's my TIE Fighter. Found your TIE Fighter chromatic wall. Oh! Oh! Well, you connected it to the ground. I'm gonna have to fix that uh, before I... Uh, let's see if it still works. And it still has Stormtrooper 33 on it! What the heck? That's actually epic! Alright, let's see if the TIE Fighter still works. Oh, wait. I can just get in, right? Oh, nope. It needs to be assembled. Huh. Let's see. Assemble ship. Overflow. Yep, I'll have to fix it eventually, but uh, thanks, Traumatic Wall, for finding my TIE Fighter. I know Cody definitely stole it, so uh, we might have to get some revenge for that little move of his. Now, let's fly up to base, and now, you guys know that I have the gem armor, and I have the big Bertha sword, which is some pretty huge steps in power, but I do not have any, like, magical abilities or anything, and I was thinking, speaking of the TIE Fighter, I was thinking about becoming a Sith. Lord. How cool would that be, being a vampire Sith Lord? I just need a giant lightsaber, and I need to get to that uh, that world that you actually become a Sith. And to do that, I asked Cody, and he says you need the Galactic Console, or uh, some kind of com, not the Galactic Console, the com link, there we go. The Observatory com link, used to communicate with the Observatory, which I think means you can teleport. And we need to teleport to the observatory to be able to teleport to, I'm assuming, the Sith world. So, it looks like we're going to have to do some crafting here. We have a block of diamond, I'm pretty sure, in our little table here. So, let's go ahead and grab that. One block of diamond. Boom, we got that out of the way. Now, it looks like we need some pretty high-tech looking stuff here. White stained titanium, which is titanium ingot and with the bone meal. Oh, oh, we're going to see if we have some titanium ore. It should be in raw ore. Let's see. Yep, titanium. And I believe we needed black iron ore as well. So let's go ahead and throw that into the... Do we have furnaces? Aha, we do. St Who made stone? Okay, let's go ahead and throw that into there. And we're going to throw the black iron ore in there as well. Luckily, we got some coal right there. But bada bing, bada boom. Now, as soon as we have the titanium done, we need to make the... It looks like a polarized glass panel, which is what the black iron is for. And a vertical glass panel which is just glass pane, should be very easy to make. And a horizontal glass pane, which is, okay, that should be a, not a problem at all. Let's go into the tech chest. We got some glass panes right here. We do have some more sand in case we do need to make some more um, uh, glass. And Oh, looks like we have, actually have one high-tech electronic already. Wait. Portable, what is this? Is this the same thing? Oh, what to keep the, oh, alignment, dark. Your alignment is already set to dark. Okay, so we'll have to keep that on us at all times, I guess. We'll just, uh, we'll figure out what that does a little later. Uh, where's my crafting table? There it is. I haven't crafted actually in, like, so long. Alright, there we go. Boom. Vertical glass panel. And a horizontal glass panel. Now, we just have to wait for the black iron ore. And it looks like we need some color filters. Ooh, so lapis lazuli, green, and a rose. Uh, we got lapis lazuli and a rose. I'm pretty sure it's easy to find. And cactus green. Lapis from here, so that's no problem at all, and I believe uh, some more bone meal we'll go ahead and grab. That's not too much AMC at all. So it looks like we are good. We just gotta go find some cactuses. I only managed to find two, so hopefully we can, after we smelt it, we can throw it up into the uh, table and get some more. So, ooh, looks like we got enough black iron ingot now. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. Get these cactuses cooking. And we need white dye for the titanium ingots. Which is kind of weird, but you know, I'm not going to question it. Let's do seven, I suppose. I think it's right there. White stain titanium. And that is... Okay, so we got pretty much f four, five, six of the blocks, seven of the blocks already. So we just need the gla a polarized glass now, which is just going to take the cat that's green. Just one. So let's go ahead and throw that cat that's green into the EMC table. And please, hopefully, we can duplicate it. Eh. 
Oh, yeah, it says learned. Okay, it looks like we can take more. Nice. All right, so all we needed was green, blue, and then we're going to get the red with the poppy. I could have swore the poppy was the red dye. Uh, let's see. Let's actually look this up. Red, rose red. Why, why isn't this working? This is a witchery poppy. What the heck? No, I need an actual rose red. Uh, I don't know if I have one off the off the rip, but let's go ahead and just go down. There should be one right below me, unless they've all been destroyed by stupid monsters. Um, there we go. Rose red. We also need to make a waypoint because I am completely missing the waypoint back up to my base, and this would help. I don't have to fly up there. Rose red, green, and I believe we need more panes of glass as well, so we need to get some glass up here. Uh, check. Probably has some. Six glass, finally! And we got some more panes now. So let's go ahead and throw that in the, uh, the recipe now. The red, blue, and green, the RGB crew out here in the middle, makes a color filter. If There we go. Color filter! Uh, so let's go up comlink here, and I believe we should be good to make the uh, polarized glass panel. Horizontal on the bottom, vertical on top. Let's go ahead and... Yes, we have the ingots, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, horizontal, vertical on top, right there. Color filter and the black iron ingot. Boom! We have a polarized glass panel. Now let's start throwing the stuff in here in the current recipe. It looks like those two right there. Now all we need to do is make another high-tech electronic. Just one more. And how do you make that? Oh, bo oh boy. Four electronics. Oh, which is just iron and redstone. That's not that bad at all. Where's the normal redstone? I don't want to grab the entire block, but whatever. 64 blocks. Um, and let's go ahead and make that into a stack. Oh god, that's too much, too much redstone, too much redstone. Let's go ahead and throw most of that back. Alright, we, we have 1.2 million EMC still, so that's good. So, five redstone to the crafting table. Let's just do an entire stack, I suppose, just to make it easy on ourselves. And we got some iron. So, I think we just need four. One, two, three, four. Perfect, we'll take all that back. We might even have some electronics in the tech. Mod? Maybe not. How about the Legends mod? Nope, nothing. Um, okay. Oh, we had a color filter this entire time? Duh! Whatever, doesn't matter. This is what I get for not <laughs> actually crafting for a while. Um, so, we need a redstone repeater now, which is just a uh, stone, redstone torch, and a redstone. So, we should have some sticks in here to make the redstone torches. Um, obviously we just got some dark wood, so that, sh that should be no problem at all. Uh, so sticks and redstone torches, that's an iron ingot. Uh, redstone, boom, one, two. And now all we need is some stone, which we just got. Where do we put that stone in, actually? Uh, crafting table. Uh, stone, boom, redstone, and one redstone makes a redstone repeater. Uh, the high tech, okay, all we need is four titanium ingots. Um, so we got those right here, so that should be no problem at all. Let's go ahead and throw these into the grabbing table. One, two, three, four. I think that was the recipe, right? I have no idea. Um, let's see, observatory. Right, the electronics in the middle. Perfect. We have ourselves. Oh, it makes two. That's pretty dope. All right, so now we have the entire recipe. Look at this. Woo! All right, let's throw this into the grabbing table and let's make our, uh, what is it called? A comlink, observatory comlink. Hopefully we can just directly teleport using that to the, wherever I need to go. I haven't really used it before. Don't really know what's gonna, where it's gonna take me. Boom! But we have the Observatory Comlink! Woo! Let's go ahead and right-click on it and see what it does. Whoa! Whoa! I'm in space! Hello? Anyone there? Let's turn the music up see if there's anyone talking. Hello? Whoa! Block this is a suit repairs, hit and a monitor. Electronic repeater. Whoa, we're in space! But where does this lead me to? Okay, there's some seating. Hello? There's a chest with nothing in it. I guess someone already looted it, possibly. Um, I don't know if it's something you loot, but... Go! Oh, the Galactic Console! And the Adventure Backpack. Look at that! We can go to the Observatory Mars... Uh, the Observatory Earth Mars. We can go to Mars. What, what the heck? Global Alert Device? We have 2,755 tokens. I wonder what that means. But how do we go to Star Wars to uh, stuff to become a Jedi? I got it. Okay, so if I click on next, that's where it comes to. Okay, <gasps> Tatooine, Korriban. Uh, where do I go? Uh, let's see. What else can I do? Oh, I think I just. What happened? Ah, oh, I crashed something. Oh god. All right, we're back. So this is pretty much the only uh, places we can go. So I believe my destination 
is Korra Bon. And it's only 25 tokens, so let's go ahead and travel there, and let's see what happens. Oh! We are here. I need to set a waypoint. Immediately. Um, waypoint, Korra New... Actually, I just have the... I have the comm link anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but just in case, I can't use it for some reason. Go out to console. Save. There we go. Now, let's take a look around. Oh, yes! This is Korriban, the home of the Sith! Hello, I'm of the dark! Of the darkness, uh, portable modular division everything. Oh crap, I got so much stuff in my inventory. Um, I want to be a Sith Lord, yes, hello. I know I wanted to be a Jedi in the beginning of the series, but uh, I decided against it, to be honest. So, ooh, looks like some there. Uh, what does this lead to? Hello? <gasps> Holy crap, snap. That is a, a lightsaber forge. A darkness. Um, I don't really have a lightsaber, which is a problem. We're gonna have to craft one. Hopefully, uh, it doesn't take too many materials. Wink, wink, it definitely does. Um, let's go to the actual main temple and let's see what's going on here. They should probably install a staircase right there for uh, ease of access. Hello! S Sith Lord? Uh, okay. So let's go over here and see if I can get a lightsaber for myself. Hello? Anyone in there? Alright, let's go through here. Hello, sir. Yep, just a new recruit coming to be a Sith Lord. I'm evil, very evil. I want to be a Sith Vampire. I know it doesn't make any sense. Hello, Darth Evo. That's quite the uh, the blood you have on the table there. Um, whoa. What do we have here? You look like fresh meat to me. I take it you've come to me and you embrace your inner hatred and learn the power of the dark side. So, you looking to join the Empire? Yes. Well, then you'll have to prove yourself. Are you worthy of being a Sith? Of course. A Sith should strive to become something greater to be the best no matter the cost. Our code states to follow. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion I gain strength. Through strength I gain power. Through power I gain victory. Uh, the force shall free me. If you live by the code, you'll find what you seek. Eliminate the competition in any chance you get. Use your passion to drive your actions. Or let your hatred empower you. Uh, the dark side is power. Do you seek it? Accept. Good. Here, take this holocron. It holds all the knowledge you need on learning how to use the force. If you somehow lose it, see Darth Brock. You should be able to purchase an extra from him. Those are expensive. Okay. Your holocron will present you with three different disciplines. Warrior, Inquisitor, or Assassin. I kind of want to be an assassin, to be honest. Um, now, about your lightsaber. Darth Burke is our armor and has all the prices required, pieces required to build it. As many customizable add-ons, blah, blah, blah. I can buy a, a thing from Darth Brock. Perfect. There are several ways you can obtain a Sith Kyber Crystal. It traditionally we use a geological compressor to forge it from scratch. However, a more brutal way is to steal a Jedi and make it bleed. What the heck? I can kill a Jedi and get a crystal from it? Through the power of the dark side, you can corrupt any cryo crystal turn it red. Go now, fulfill your destiny. If you stupidly lost your hologram, you can purchase a new one for Darth Brock. Alright, uh, fantastic. Uh, you are Darth Evo, so let me go see this dark Verrock guy. Darth Verrock! I think I found him! Ooh, what is this, a lightsaber modifier? Okay, I think I have one of these crystals at my base, actually. Um, ooh! Oh. Oh, look at that. I can have a mask. Oh, Sith armor. What about... Oh, this is cool. Current balance is a thousand. It costs a thousand to get a tunic. How do I get more balance or whatever this is? Um, items. Okay, so it looks like we need to buy... Most of the stuff is 150 credits, 72. Okay, this isn't too expensive. Extensions. We're going to go back to base and see if we have one of those kyber crystals. Because um, it looks like we are going to need it. We'll have to look some. We'll have to look at some guide, obviously, to make this. But at least now we're a <gasps> my Sith holocron. Okay, we'll worry about the lightsaber uh, another time. We need to go back to the observatory, and we need to go back to Earth. Teleport to my base. See if I have one of the crystals, and become a Sith Lord. Oh, is it? No, where's the Galactic Council? It's over here somewhere. Oh God. Uh, yes, through the doorway right here, Earth. Let's go, uh, travel. At least it's free. That's pretty dope. Oh, God. Am I falling? I'm falling. Oh, God. Uh, let's go ahead and hit the J button. I don't have a waypoint to my base, but I can TP to 650 negative. Oh, I'm falling. Or I'm gliding, I guess. There we go. TP before I hit the base. 650, 100, negative 70. Oh, God. Ah! Ah, that's something. You didn't get me out of here. 200. Oh, there we go. I was in my vampire base. Perfect. Alright, now that we're home, we need to place down the Sith Holocron. Uh, let's see, what's a be what's the best place for this? Hmm, 
I'm assuming right here shall be fine, but we need to make like a table or something, so let's go just grab a block real quick, go to the block. Uh, we got a kitchen counter, which doesn't really make s <laughs> sense, uh, but we got this pink concrete. Yeah, that's perfect for the Sith Holocron, a pink concrete stand. <laughs> Alright, there we go, let's look this up. Ooh, hyperscale underscore. Um, Sith Assassin. Ugh. Look at this. Look at this. And learn it with zero experience. Combat stance. Uh, uh, commit. There we go. Commit. Aha! I'm now a Sith Assassin. Attunement 1. Uh, let's go ahead and learn that. Combat style and Sith eyeballs. Looks like we need experience out to uh, level this up. So 50 experience. I have 109. So what do, we, what do you guys want to get first? Let's see. Force speed or force jump. Crystal harvest. Hmm. I think force speed is pretty cool. Let's do that. And I think I can get all of them, actually. So let's just go ahead and get all this. Crystal Harvest. Learn. Oh, God, there's more. Oh, God. A corrupt crystal. There we go. Learn. So if we get a Jedi crystal, we can corrupt it with a certain ability. And look at that. We can actually master, I think. Uh, we've learned everything that we can. Uh, maybe it costs too much experience. Uh, you probably got to have, like, 100 experience or something. Master! All right, so... We have some abilities here. We might not be able to set them up. Oh, we do. We have a, a crystal right there. Purple cracked kyber crystal. Oh, it's cracked. Hmm. Well, this is awesome. At least we got the holocron. We made the comm link, and we are on our path to becoming a Sith Lord. Ho, 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 ho. Unfortunately, we are running out of time. I'm going to have to see you guys in the next episode as we make our lightsaber, and we start leveling up our abilities and learning how to use them. So I will set up all the key bindings, and they will be ready for next episode. That was pretty fun. I cannot wait to progress further and see how powerful a Sith a vampire can become. Vampire Sith Crab, signing out. You guys have a great day.